Hello, I'm Jonathan from Shooting Stuff. Today we're going to talk about Lyman's sixth generation automatic powder dispenser. Shooting Stuff now offers all of Lyman's products online at shootingstuff.co.za or in our store in Centurion. If there's something you don't find but Lyman has, let us know and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it for you. The Lyman Gen 6 is a really compact electronic powder dispenser. It's an electronic scale, touchscreen operated and let's switch it on make sure it gets enough warm-up. Uh, one of the features that it's got is a countdown timer to make sure it's properly warmed up before you start using it. The propellant hopper holds more than enough, equivalent to pretty much all of the other systems on the market. Uh, Lyman's claim to fame with this system is accurate charges quickly. And the quickly has really impressed me with the testing that I've done so far and the consistency has been really good too. For those who are not familiar with the purpose of an electronic powder dispenser, this is a way of quickly and accurately getting repeat charges when you're loading high volumes of precision ammo. Many people don't trust the consistency of a powder measure such as on a, a Dillon or a, any brand of a reloading machine um, and prefer to throw defined weights of propellant. When you dispense the propellant into the pan, you then pour it manually into each case during your loading process to get very consistent powder charges to enhance especially long range accuracy and consistency. As you can see, I'm using some Vitavuri N550. It's not the coarsest, but it's also not the finest powder, and it gives us a, a pretty good idea of what the system is able to do. Before we start dispensing some powder, I'm gonna do a couple of quick checks using some of my trusted uh, reference weights, and we'll have a look and see what the scale can do. Okay, let's have a closer look at the Gen 6 scale and then we'll get on to the powder dispensing after that. This dust cover uh, or draft cover is useful if you have moving air where you're using the scale. It's quite easy to keep it uh, um, uninfluenced by moving air because as you can see, if I blow, it uh, is quite sensitive to read. We're gonna start off first by calibrating the system. I always zero the scale first. Then we go and hold this for calibration mode. It wants a calibration weight of 50 grams which comes with the scale. Let us zero it. Seven seven one point five. The mathematical number is seven seven one point six, so that's plenty close enough. It's hovering around that. So our scale is calibrated using fifty grams, and we can change the mode to grams and check the calibration at lower values. Three grams on the numbers is a typical powder charge when you're loading something like 308, around 40 grains of powder. And three times that, 10 grams, again coming nicely calibrated. Very consistent scales coming from Lyman these days crushed primer that we've used in previous evaluations. It was a granule of propellant that had fallen out onto the scale, so we don't want any 
uh, erroneous readings. Um, we'll change this to read in grains. You can read in grains, grams and ounces. Most of us in the uh, non-American part of the world don't understand the ounces and we work in grains or grams. 3.3 grains for our crushed primer, pretty consistent with what we've seen before. My number one station one locator, 26.7 grains and uh, 155 grain 10 cal or 10 millimeter bullet, 40 cal bullet is reading 155.1. Consistent with all the previous measurements that we've seen. So let's have a look and see how the powder dispensing works. We put our powder pan in place. We zero the system with the powder pan on and then we give an indication of how much we want to throw. 22 grains of powder, push the enter button and it starts dispensing. It runs at high speed until it gets close to the desired weight, then slows down and quickly trickles the last amount of powder in. In previous tests that I've done, it generally takes about 15 seconds before you get the loud beep confirmation that your powder charge is correct and if you wait until after the uh, display stabilizers it then gives you an updated reading of what is in the pan. Let's throw this one back for convenience. Normally we would throw this into our cartridge case as part of the loading process. The charge that I've stored is in the system so simply pressing the start button again I get the same powder charge, 22 grains dispensed in another 15 seconds or so. It runs nice and quickly up to the charge, shows number two and we back it out 22 grains of powder. If you're in a rush, as soon as you hear the beep, you can throw your powder into your case and get going again. Um, the speed of dispensing has really impressed me compared to other units that I've used. If you don't want to press the enter button each time you um, replace the uh, pan, you can hit the auto repeat function and after the first charge, when I put the pan back onto the system, it will automatically detect that uh, it's time to go, it zeroes out the pan and throws the next charge. 22 grains, auto charge number three is thrown and it's showing that we've again got our 22. Now the auto feature should automatically start the system once it's zeroed and before you know it we have another charge ready for adding into the empty cartridge cases um, hopefully before you or after you fitted uh, the new primers um, and your, your loading process is quick and simple. Here we've got a slight over, overcharge, 22.1. If that bothers you in terms of your accuracy, you can now throw it back into the system and go again. It does happen occasionally because the um, dispenser is optimized to work with a wide variety, over a hundred different uh, powder charges. So if this does occasionally happen, toss it back or fit the uh, restrictor that comes with the system just to slow down that last little bit of trickling. It makes the dispensing a little bit longer and you have control to decide do you want the balance of fast dispensing and slightly lower accuracy or greater accuracy with a slower dispensing cycle. Uh, for most people, within 0.1 of a grain is plenty accurate enough. Um, for all practical purposes, you don't need anything better than that at distances up to three, 400 meters. Um, it is a negligible effect. Still in auto mode, we'll get going again. And I have to say that I've 
been really, really impressed by the uh, efficiency of the system. It's a nice small footprint, so it doesn't take up a lot of space on my reloading bench. Dispensers, accurate charges, really, really quickly. And I found it an absolute pleasure to use the Lyman Gen 6 automatic powder dispenser. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to empty the propellant from your Gen 6. Uh, it's a feature nicely designed into the system with the drain door on the side. Make sure you have the correct propellant container at hand for what you've been using. Um, as always, it's uh, uh, one of the rules of reloading to only have one type of propell propellant on your bench at any one time. We pop open the little slide, lift up the trap door and wait while the propellant runs into the container. The big funnel just helps uh, the process along. I don't have to keep on holding that in place. I'll remove the lid because we don't need that in at the moment. And as soon as the majority has run out, I can remove the, uh, the powder hopper and show you some of the other features that are included. So the little brush that comes with the system, you can help guide the stuff down. A little bit of tapping, nothing too violent. There's a handy button to release the powder system. We can get everything out of there. And then you can access the inside to make sure the propellant all drains out. There's other tools to completely disassemble, which I won't use right now, but uh, a simple process to disassemble everything and you can thoroughly clean your uh, powder system of any granules of leftover powder. I find one of the easiest to get the stuff out of the chute is simply to tip it up and a little gentle shake throws it into the pan which I can then easily add in. Do a thorough check, make sure it's all empty before you add a new propellant and then we'll be good to go for loading the next caliber of our choice. Okay, this is the Lyman Gen 6, um, one of my new favorite toys. Um, it's a really, really quick electronic powder dispenser that dispenses consistent uh, powder charges. So if you're looking for something of great value to speed up your loading process, you won't go wrong with the Lyman Gen 6. Like all Lyman products, it's available online at shootingstuff.co.za or in our store in Centurion. Come and get one of these. It'll definitely give you more time to shoot.